What do you think drives some atheists to join far left ideologies like critical social justice, aka wokeism? Um, Susanna used to be Susanna used to be um, she's an ex Antifa, so she would be the expert at this. So I will let let her. Well, Antifa her. isn't. Uh, necessarily woke, but I just happen to also be that. Uh, uh, so, okay. I think uh, there's an article, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's by James Lindsay and Mike Mena. Um, and, okay, heavy preference uh, pr pr preamble on the fact that James Lindsay has gone straight off the deep end over the past year and a half at minimum. Um, so just because I'm endorsing some of his writings doesn't mean I'm endorsing a lot of what he's been going on lately. Okay. I just want to make that clear. Okay. Anyways, um, he has a very interesting article in theory that um, non- believers are attracted or fall prey to wokeism because they don't have a religion in their life and religion does play a um cohesive role in society mainly in the sense of providing one with an in-group and an out-group with which to identify and with which from which to gain the sense of um identity ritual value, virtue, um, and protection. Um, my own theory regarding this is that because atheist people, the majority of them are people who have left religion, you know, a minority would be people who were just raised atheist, at least in America or North America, um, that they, they go into the far left because the right in its current iteration is extremely religious. And so they obviously left religion and they are not attracted to the th many people, the things that remind them of that. I mean, I'm also just speaking from my own personal experience. Um, and especially if you're some, if you're someone that has um, an identity category, that's like a minority from a minority um, group, you historically, the left has been the group that protects you or purports to protect you. So you're going to be attracted to that because one, there's um, your cultural understanding that this is the side that protects you. Um, and two, because it's supposed to be in opposition to the things that you didn't like before from religious traditionalism or conservatism that is religiously influenced. Um, and it... There's so much more I could get into, but I think, um, you know, there is, as much as we don't like wokeism or critical social justice, there is a certain um, internal consistency to it. Um, and so that provides people structure and also um, very clear um language you know with which you signal your understanding um uh there are ways that, within this culture where you can virtue signal and you know i've kind of started i've come to realize that virtue signaling isn't a left-wing thing like it's not a woke thing people are like oh my god you're just you know signaling how concerned you are over this you know issue that affects the minority community i am Although it bothers me when you can really see through someone's intentions like that, that is not unique to wokeism. Every single group does virtue signaling. It is part of how you gain status and recognition within any group, um, any culture. It's just a it's a it's a facet of human behavior and how we interact with each other. So, um, yeah, I think. Those are just my um, thoughts off the top of my head. Um, I don't know if that really answered the question. Armin, what do you think? I, I think, no, I think it was, um, you, I just want, I, I just want people not to use this as a way to, um, 
thinking black and white and overgeneralize because most atheists do not like this is like a this whole critical social justice or wokeism thing it's a very fringe group of people very fringe group of people who make a lot of noise okay the vast vast majority of people with that religion do not become woke and wokeism as a whole is a small <laughs> mess that just came and it's going to go away and it's not going to have that much of an influence at some point okay uh, i mean it, it it has already a lot of influence not because there's a lot of people that are like it but because they are these people are very committed and very loud and they're very interesting so they get a lot of attention okay um and they get to manage to exert a lot of influence because of how committed they are to their ideology okay what you have to be careful of is that do not use it a lot of people because a lot of these wokey type people are atheists, they are a lot of religious people um, or a lot of atheists who like religion, uh, who like Christianity, um, use this as a way to say why atheism is bad, okay? But again, this is a very fringe group of people. Um, most atheists are not like this. Um, and do not let them use this as a way to ma make the point that, oh, that's why you need religion. Because without, if you, they say, oh, without religion, you get wokeism. Um, well, they try, already tried that with communism. This is the same argument. The people say, without religion, you get wokeism. They, these are the same kind of arguments. They're like, oh, look at communists. Communists do not have God. So without, without religion, you get communism. If this is That line of reasoning is just as stupid as that, okay? Do not let them use this argument. The vast majority of atheists do not become communists and they do not become woke. Okay, so yeah, and lefty is not woke, and more, even, not only most atheists are not woke, um, you know, wokeistani. Most leftist people are also not woke. Is wokeistani. So be careful with that. Yeah. Music guy is saying, I wish Susie had a whole show dedicated to her past Antifa days. I was thinking recently, I need a platform or something where I can just tell stories. Because I have so many crazy stories I could tell, but they're like not relevant to anything we do here at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it would really, I think it'd be really entertaining. <laughs> you could, you could do that. You could do that. On, you could just talk to do this a pure um, only Twitch stream that that would actually be a good way to get more people on our Twitch by saying like Susanna will be streaming on Twitch and nowhere else uh, when talking about her stories. That way, I think that would be the best way, one of the best ways to promote our Twitch. That'd be funny. Just my story yeah, yeah. hour. I could, yeah. I could tell some good stories. Getting up to all sorts of nonsense. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.